The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the April, what is today? The April 18th? The April 18th edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this, during this deck 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on it at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question but you can't call in, we've got you covered. You can send me an email. Send that off to steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tigers then well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, we've got a little bit of a mixed bag out there. First, you've got the utility sector. That's the only sector inside the S&P 500 trading a bit lower. It's off three pennies out there. And we have the semis. They're down 18 points. Otherwise, other U.S. indices are trading to the upside. You've got the Dow up 307, S&P's up 28, NASDAQ's up 72. You've got the Russell up 19, semis are off 17, Tranny's up 116, gold's up 770, silver's up 6 cents, lights recruit is off 45 pennies, natural gas is off two is up 2 cents, and the 30-year uh, treasury off a half a point, printed out at 114.11. Our leader in the clubhouse, the upside dollar-wise, is MicroStrategy. 84-point move, that's 7%. HubSpot, 26%, a 26-point move, 4%. 5% for Elevance Health, that's 23 bucks. Badger Meter, up nearly 19 or 12%, and United Health is up 18. That's a 4% move. To the downside, again, Asmill Holdings down 17 bucks. Primerica down 17. Snap-on down 16. HE Health Group off 14. Mercado Libre is down 12. Buck Rooney. So we got movers and we've got shakers. But we're going to begin. Where are we going to begin? We're going to begin because right now we may have a little character change in the market. And when I say character change, let's go take a look at the ES mini charts out here. So we take a look at what has transpired so far this week, just in the last three days worth of trading beginning on Monday. We'll open up this chart here. It's pretty helpful to help us identify that. And here what we've identified. So if we take a look at the, the different tops that have formed out here inside the ES Mini. If we go back to one back in the trading day of April the 11th, that top came in at about the 3 o'clock in the afternoon out there. So U.S. selling, you could say, towards the afternoon. But everything else this week, this is Monday, at 10 o'clock, we saw the selling come in. It's 11 right now, right? We're we're beyond that. Take a look at the uh, next time. we So the next day we started out here was 8 o'clock in the morning. That was on April 16th. Yesterday, what time did the selling start? It started between 9 and 10. So it's an hourly chart out here. Uh, so the bar is actually uh, finished at that 8 a.m. time frame. But it was 7 to 8, so you can see what's going on here. Well, if we take a look at the high that came in, so far this morning at 7 8. So we're, at, we're, we're past that high, right? So are we going to call this now maybe this is the 10 to 11 a.m. bar? I suppose we could, but here what we can see is a bit of a shift in character change out here. Now, on this 60-minute time frame, which has a road momentum indicator bottom, by the way, price is trading above the top of its profile. That's also a little bit of a, a change in a, a signal out there for the 60-minute time frame. And that suggests a further move higher. Now, further move higher to where we've got to explore the other multi-day time frame charts out there. But I just simply wanted to point out to you that we may be say, seeing a change in trend, at least intraday, out here. And that's something to pay attention to. Why? Because when we take a look at the ES mini charts, well, first of all, you and I, you know, by blown that horn, we are oversold, oversold, extremely oversold out there. And right now what we're actually getting is a, what appears to be a little bit of a V-shaped move. 
move to get that market out of that oversold condition. We take a look at the equity future charts out here for the larger time frames. For example, a five hour time frame chart just needs a bullish reversal candle to complete its pattern. Well, the bar that's in place right now, it doesn't complete till 2 p.m. That would go ahead and cover that uh, requirement out there that would generate that bullish reversal candle out there. Price is trading with inside its profile and that resistance level is 51.23.25. So should the rally continue, that's certainly a number to be paying attention to as price approaches that area. The 240 minute time frame chart, this bar here is going to complete at noon. Oh, I'm sorry, 2 p.m. as well. Now, this will be interesting to be paying attention to. Why will it be interesting, Steve-O? Because the profile that is in place, it was a bearish, a bullish structured profile. And price closed below it for more than two consecutive bars. Now, what that tells us is that any counter trend move, if this is just a counter trend move, and I think we have to term it that way, is to expect that we would find resistance between 5094 and 5107. With 5107 being the key emphasis out there that we would really be paying attention to. If price were to close above that, that says the rally likely sticks and we continue to move up towards 5134. But it has to go ahead and take out those levels of resistance. If we look at a two hour time frame chart, it has a momentum indicator signal it's trying to gun for 5113 so we have 5113 there you got 5107 which would be the counter trend area on the four hour time frame chart i'm suggesting that as long as this rally here continues the numbers to be watching today is between 5107 and 5113 and to close about 5113 likely the rally extends for more than a full day out there so that's what we see when we take a look at the es mini um, i know that everybody's wanting to short the ES Mini just recognized that little bit of character change there because all the selling Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday was coming from here inside the U.S. It wasn't coming from Europe or Asia. Those overnight e uh, future contracts certainly rallied a bit out there. So all the selling was coming in by either 8 o'clock in the morning or by 10 o'clock in the morning out there, and we're beyond that. Is it a guarantee? No, it's not a guarantee, but it is certainly something to pay attention to. Now, let's take a look at the NQ charts out here and see what it is doing. We'll get this populated. It's going to take a, a moment or two uh, to populate, um, but that's okay. Uh, so the market is, and we'll, we'll take a look at oversold reading just so we can see what the New York, New York Stock Exchange Advanced Client Oscillator is doing out there. looks like we're going to take a look at the uh, lights we crude as well for ELO inside the Tiger's Den. And we'll point out the level where that is likely to find support on a further move lower out here. So now, we take a look at the NQ charts out here. We take a look at the 240-minute time frame chart. It's, in the pre it's, it's trying to, and again, this candle doesn't close till 2 p.m., but it's trying to form a road's momentum indicator bottom, just as the two-hour time frame chart is as well. Now, this this chart here is going to complete its current bar at noon. And uh, you can see that price is trading into a resistance level. That's the center of that bullish structured profile. And that's at the 17721 level. A close above that suggests 17827 is where price would target. If I look at the 60, the 30, Forget about the 15 and the 10-minute charts out there. Those already have confirmed roads momentum indicator top. So the level to really be watching from an intraday standpoint is that the 60-minute time frame chart has a bearish structured profile. And that bearish structured profile says the sell zone is between 17,756 and 17,827. So that's what's going on intraday when we take a look at the ES and the NQ. We come back from this break. We'll take a quick peek at that New York Stock Exchange Advanced Client Oscillator. Then we'll look at the 30-year treasury for G-Man. We'll take a look at Walmart. We're going to take a look at Sweet Crude. We're going to take a look at really anything that you want out there. It looks like we're also going to look at ITM. We'd love to hear from you at 877-927-6648. Be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. 
Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's go take a look at New York Stock Exchange, the advanced client offset. We're going to change screens for that. Hopefully, I remember to change back uh, as soon as we're done with this. So uh, we'll pull up that uh, chart here. We can see that that advanced client oscillator reading, again, the, the oscillator is the uh, difference between the 19 and 39 period exponential moving average of the advanced decline line, which you can see up top there. The high of that advanced decline line, that came back in 2021 out there for whatever that is worth. Now, we get down below this minus 150 level, you get into oversold reading, you get below minus 250, you're in what's it called the extreme oversold reading. Not that it can't get below that, but it's extreme out there, and that says that you got to expect or anticipate some type of relief rally. And at this moment in time, that's what we have that's going on. We saw that character change, at least from the last three days out there, and that should suggest to each of us that this is likely to continue, at least for the day out there. You've also got the DAX trading higher, so that's a positive for the NDX 100. Now, right Right here, you can see that we've got this little V-shaped thing. That doesn't mean that's how it's going to resolve itself. We could still end up with the pattern of higher lows in the advanced client oscillator reading with maybe getting lower lows inside the New York Stock Exchange. But right now, we just kind of deal with things one step at a time. But it's important to understand you know that in fact we are in extreme oversold conditions and what we're seeing take place today uh, is not unusual at all now that spot volatilics it is headed lower it's headed towards that uh, parabolic SAR dot out there that brought to us by garo out in california so i want to watch that level and see what happens uh the the, uh, the thought process is and that parabolic SAR is at 1677 if price were to close below that that would suggest that boy that would really suggest that we should see at least a two-day rally out there so that's what's going on we take a look at the uh, new york stock exchange it's advanced client oscillator and let's go out to martinez california and speak with brent brent thanks for calling thanks for holding how are you doing this morning Oh, I'm doing quite well, Stephen. How are you? Excellent. Thanks so much. Are you still in the uh, Are you still in the long trade for the Russell, or or did you get taken out of that? I, I, I've, no, I've been day trading it. I bought into that. I, I'm trying to remember what that was. I guess that was Monday. Whatever yes. Whatever day it was, so. I bought yeah. it low, and then I I did hold it overnight, and I sold it at the open yesterday because I could see ah. it, you know 
was starting to kind of pull back and took that one and I then I bought in again this morning. Got oh, a, very actually good. a very good price on that. I, I'm doing good. I actually ended up getting the, the TNA. It's the <laughs> I had the 33 uh, calls for uh, I, again they're the ones that are going to expire tomorrow. Sure, sure. And I was sure. able to pick them up for uh, 52 cents a piece, and now they're like a buck 26. I already sold. I'm free in the trade at this point. So oh, that's cool. Ride, see what happens. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, cool. So your next trade idea is for ticker symbol BLDP. Uh, tell us what you're doing and how I can best help you. Yeah, you know, the one thing I noticed on this, and I'd, I'd just like to get your opinion on some other aspects of it, but I have a, a RMI bottom. Maybe you don't. I, I kind of have one on this. I have it on the data, but I don't really see it on your chart. But what yeah. I'm looking at is that level down there at uh, – that's around 266, 267. Yes. Been down there multiple times. We have, I don't know how it's going to end up today, but I think at the moment, when I looked at it last time, it was like a hammer candle was developing for today. Um, it kind of yeah. keeps going on and testing that level. And of course, it had a big gap up because they had some news about, I guess, an order that they received. And so I just wanted to get your thoughts on this area that's been testing, if that kind of makes sense as a place to be buying and what else do you have to the EC? Are, are you in it or you're just looking to where to possibly? Uh, no, I haven't bought it yet. I almost did okay. this morning, but I just kind of, I'm watching it just to, to see what it does. Okay. So what Brent's talking about is we look at my charts out here. March 26 is a swing point that he's eyeing. And that uh, range is from $2.66 all the way up to a high of $277. We're at $275 right now. Uh, prices, so that swing point had 1.6 million shares. When it closed into it yesterday, sorry, i got to move this off to the left here. When it closed in yesterday, it had 2.1 million shares. So it closed inside that swing point with volume. Um, today so far, in uh, about almost two hours of trading, we're at 630,000. So if I take 630 multiplied times three, I'm at 1.8 million, 1.8 versus 1.6. So it still has got pretty decent volume out there. And uh, But ideally, you know, if this were to form some type of bottom, we'd at least see a close above that swing point high. So the first level to be watching, I would say, would be that high. That's at 277. So far today, that's been tested and rejected. I don't have a bottom pattern per se, that I can see other than that swing point test that we're looking at. So if it is a bottom uh, here, even if you're testing a swing point, what we should see is some type of uh, short-term signals that say, okay, we're, we've are we got a bottom attempt going. So let's take a look at some of those, folks. Let's start with a 30-minute time frame. And the 30-minute time frame does have a roach momentum indicator bottom. And what this shows right now is prices trading with inside that profile. So if this is a bottom, and this is more than just a little bit of a relief or counter trend move out there, we should see a close above the top of that 30-minute profile. Brent, that number is 276. And that last 30-minute bar at 11 a.m., that closed right at 276. You got to love it. And right now, price is struggling at that area. So I would say the first sign on a 30-minute chart that you might have something here, Brent, would be a close above that 277 level. That would then suggest uh, a move up to 289. But let's see what the other time frame charts show us. Let's step down one more. Let's go down to the 15-minute time frame chart, Rosemont indicator bottom. Prices above profile. So we know that it's the 30 minute sellers right now that are the ones that are influencing what the market is doing. Let's see if there's anything going on on a 65 minute basis. And on a 65 minute basis, I have to assume there is some type of A to B equals CD pattern to the downside here. And um, so we do have a bullish reversal candle that is confirming that. This also shows that 277 mark. So you got it on the 65 minute, you've got it on the 30 minute. And let's check one more time frame, folks. Let's go up to the 130. And on the 130-minute time frame, you've got a TD9 count bottom. So I, to answer your question, is this trying to form a bottom? It couldn't be more clear with regard to those intraday charts. By the way, the 130-minute profile resistance is up at 280 out there. But we do have those uh, bottom signals for all of those time frames out there. Um, so based on that information, Brent, what say you? Oh, that's very helpful, Steve. I just... And I do understand what you're saying as far as the test of that, you know, low. It, it did have, uh, you know, greater volume than it had previous. So that's something to be considered, definitely. 
But if you can I, uh, clear that top, if you can clear that high, and which is also where we've got the profile levels on the, you know, the 30 and the 65-minute uh, chart, it adds to the idea, you know, of a of a potential bottom. Now, what I do have, and I didn't notice it, and I don't know if this just formed you know, while we were looking at the intraday charts, because I didn't notice it, but there is a new profile that is now forming out here. And that profile is live today. And, Brent, that helps you a bit because that tells you you have support down at the, wish I could read it, uh, 274 level and so that's your support and resistance up here is 288 so ideally you get a rally you close above 288 to get a daily profile change in trend now the, the weekly chart does have a confirmed roads momentum indicator bottom price is trading into that weekly swing point so it's thursday we get a pretty decent idea of the volume metrics there and that has 22 million shares that's the week for march the 15th this week so far, we are down with 8.4 million shares. So on a weekly basis, we're really into that swing point with light volume. Hey, Brent, I see I'm up against a hard break. You're welcome to hold on. If I've given you all the information you uh, uh, you need, then uh, great and always good to hear from you. So uh, I'll either catch you on the... a little bit, Steve. Perfect. You bet. That's Brent in Martinez, California. We'll be right back, folks. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Tigers, we have some exciting news. Live Trading Fridays are here. Join Larry Pesavento every second and fourth Friday of the month, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern time, as he places short-term trades and gives insights into his strategies. That's right. That means the first Live Trading Fridays event starts this Friday, April 12th. Make sure to sign up so you don't miss the potential for huge gains. If you've attended Larry's stellar webinars before, you'll be familiar with the Live Trading portion. Live Trading Fridays will be strictly this portion. That's three hours of pure trading. All trade positions will be communicated clearly, and all questions will be answered in a timely fashion during these live events. When signing up, make sure to save $50 by using code LARRYLIVE at checkout. This code is valid only for this month, and the discount stays with you for as long as you're a subscriber to the service. So don't delay. Sign up, sit back, and follow Larry Pesavento as he places trades live. See you there, Tigers. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. 
Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, uh, folks. Hey, Brent, I was able to pull up the seasonal chart for you for Ballard Power Systems. That is BLDP. That's what we're taking a look at, folks, out here. And if we take a look at this, kind of interesting. Uh, so May is a is uh, is one of the worst performing months. December December's the worst. Uh, November and uh, May, it's kind of a, a tie uh, for it. But what I notice here is we can see that typically during this time of the year, it, it, it forms some type of sideways consolidation. You know, when I take a look at the seasonal pattern. And what's interesting, Brent, when I when I saw that, I then went back and said, well, what's the daily chart doing? And I can see a consolidation pattern. I can see that TD9 count top on a daily basis that formed back on uh, March the 8th. And we had price come up. Now, that swing point, let's just see what, how that was tested. That had 4.4 million shares, and it was tested and rejected with uh, 4.1 million shares, so slightly lighter volume. Tested again with 4.4 million shares and was also testing the, the top of the consolidation well as the top of that profile. Now we're down towards the bottom of that consolidation. So maybe there's another rally out there, but um, you know, seasonally speaking, it typically starts trading lower in, in, in May out there. Don't know whether it will hold that pattern or not, but I did notice that as we were at the break and wanted to at least throw that out to you. So what, what, what additional assistance can I provide to you? Was there anything on the monthly chart at all, Steve, that, that was, you know, showing a potential bottom? I, I know you looked at the weekly. That was another thing that I, I you know, hadn't had you look at yet. Yeah, I wish there was. I don't. I don't see anything. I mean, the A to B equals CD pattern says this thing pretty much goes out of business, so we won't take a look at that. I mean, at least visually, that's what it looks like to me. I'll just simply put that line. Over yeah, so that that's that's not a pattern that's in play. It's negated a TD nine count bottom pattern. Um, I, I don't see any, and it's trading below profile support, and that means that profile support is now resistance, and that number is three dollars and thirty nine cents. So nothing on the monthly to assist you. Um, boy, this thing was trading at forty four bucks back in twenty twenty one, and now it's at two dollars out there. That's a stinger, but I understand why you're looking uh, at it as well. So um, it's in at least that consolidation pattern on the uh, daily time frame, and you'd love to see a test really of the bottom of that consolidation on lighter volume. But but the intraday charts, like you and I took a look at, they're certainly trying to turn the tide here. Okay, well, thank you so much, Steve. I really appreciate it, and always keep an eye on it and, and uh, see what it does here. Just have you yourself a, a great day and a great weekend. Uh, I'm sure I'll talk to you soon. Sounds good. Thanks so much for the call and the time. That was Brent in Martinez, California. And folks, you know, Brent is an amazing trader out there. So you might want to put BLDP on your watch list out there. So let's go take a look at, uh, well, let me get this uh, chart here to repopulate. We'll go, we'll kind of go in a little bit reverse order right now. But let's take a look at the uh, uh, Lightspeed crew. We're looking at the June contract out here. And this is for ELO inside the Tiger's Den. So what we know about Lightspeed crew, it has a TD9 count. It has a Rhodes Mintum indicator top out there. Uh, price closed below yesterday, the bottom of its bullish structured profile. We're below it today. That suggests that what Lightspeed Crew might want to go do is target its breakout level. And for the June contract, that is at 79.99. We can see on the weekly chart, where I don't have a any kind of a uh, sell signal, uh, price has pulled back. Obviously, you know, following along the daily time frame out there, but support there is at 80.84 or so. So the 80 dollar level. Is really a key area of support to be watching ELO on a move to the uh, downside. If we take a quick peek at an intraday chart, such as a 30 minute time frame chart, 30 minute time frame chart has a road momentum indicator bottom. What did price do? Went right up to that breakdown level at 82.44 and then gave it up. Now, that giving it up was just pulled back to that oscillator and change line. So it's, um, you know, I would watch 82.67. If price were to close above that, you'd see a further rally. It doesn't change what the daily time frame chart is uh, signaling to us and uh, or what the monthly chart is signaling to us. And the uh, uh, the weekly chart, I should say. And the monthly chart shows a good old-fashioned consolidation. Uh, resistance up at 85.12, support down at 69.98. So uh, ELO, I hope that helped you out with regard to light speed crude. And thanks for the request out there. The first request really was supposed to go to Jimmy D if I was going in for FIFO system first in first out and normally i do uh, but uh, it was just easier for me to do that now if we take a look at a 30 year which i had mentioned yesterday formed a by the d point pattern so let's take a look at that let's open that up first first you had the a to b equal cd we'll just pull this back just a tad 
And uh, so you can see that pattern. That was more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD pattern out there. And the first buy the D point pattern, by the way, failed. The first buy the D point pattern confirmed on April the 12th with that bullish reversal candle. And the very next day, price took that out. Boom, it was gone. Now we can see that price never closed above that red oscillator and change line. And whenever you get a bottom signal below that, first that becomes the first target out there. And that is the target really that we're looking at today. And that's in the 115 and about a half level. So 115, 15, give or take out there. You do have a new profile that is formed. Support for this profile is down at 114.11. I'm sorry, at uh, 113.81. And the price for it, it's not really 81. Um, it is. 36. 113.26 is the uh, level that you'd be watching there. If price were to close below that, the, the real sell signal, because you have that bullish engulfing candle, G-Man, would have to be a close below the candles that it engulfed, the low of the candles that it engulfed. That's the low from April 16th out there, and that's at that 113.10 level. So it's not out of the woods. It's got a bottom pattern to buy the D point. It's done that once before along this uh, leg out there. It's actually done it twice before. You can see the first one was a Three River Evening Star pattern that formed, and price went right up to the oscillator and chain line and turn back down. Now, that's what's going on on the daily time frame. So the daily's got a bottom signal. What do we have on a weekly time frame? Weekly time frame turns out, let me do this here. Let me see. Let's get rid of the continuous contract and let's see if I get enough data to get the actual live contract out here. And there's not enough data, unfortunately. Well, I do have a profile. It's way up top. So this isn't looking good. Look at the TD9 count top. You've got on the 30-year treasury out there, G-Man. And this suggests that if the buy the D point on the daily time frame fails, that price should go target the 109.15 mark out there. So you got to watch the daily. Let's see if there's anything else going on intraday. Intraday, 60-minute Roachman to indicator top out there. Price below profile support. May want to head lower. I don't see a top on the two-hour. I see a bottom on the two-hour and a bottom on the 240 and a bottom on the five hour uh, out charts out there. And that really just goes along with that bottom on the daily. That's why we say, hey, take a look at a daily signal. See if you got a top or a bottom. And if you do, go to the short term time frames because they're going to confirm that top is likely or bottom is likely to take hold out there. You know, so use those intraday charts out there. Um, I see a, a TD9 count bottom on a 30 minute time frame chart. So it's suggesting a rally. So we'll stick with the idea that we should see a rally in the 30 year, get up to about the 115, 15 ish type area out there. So G man, I hope that provided you with the information you're looking for on the 30 year. By the way, the uh, 10 year note also has a, a bottom signal as well. So both of them are suggesting well, they're, they're telling us they want a rally out there. And the question is, uh, can they fend off the uh, sellers? So um, let's go on to our next request. G-Man also want to take a look at Walmart. WMT is the ticker symbol out there. So if you give me a moment, we'll get up there. That's, that's the currency pairs. That's not what he was asking about. But we're about to go to a break anyways. So we come back, we'll take a look at Walmart, ticker symbol ITM. Uh, I don't know what that is. It doesn't mean I, I don't need to know what it is. We're going to take a look at BWAGY and ticker symbol W. We'll be right back. spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the forex market. This is what sets Teddy Keckstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits.
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets, with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. We've got the stock chart for Walmart up on our screen out here. We can see the daily top was a wave seven top out there. It was also Rhodes Minton indicator top. And uh, price did get below uh, its uh, TD nine count breakout level at the 59.58. We then rallied right up into the oscillator and change line. We've turned back down. So right now at the moment, G-Man, Walmart is trading into its buy zone. And the buy zone is the uh, bullish structured profile area. And that's between 59.14 and 59.53 and that level is held so far we'll have to see on an intraday chart does that mean anything or not the weekly time frame chart um i don't see it well i see an a to b equals cd so i see a sell the d point pattern but price has successfully tested the bottom of that profile for three weeks in a row out there that's at 59.29 now if price were to close below that that would tell all of us that a key area of support has failed and that we would likely head lower the likely head lower would be down around the 50 499 area that's the top of its monthly profile but right now in a daily time frame price is trading back in the buy zone is there any kind of a buy signal in other words on a 30 minute time frame chart do we have any kind of a buy signal out there and the answer is no i don't see anything there as we speak let's not just stick with a 30 let's take a quick peek at a 15 and maybe it's an early turn i don't see anything there now maybe there's an a to b equal cd pattern i don't have the time right now to study that so that may be out there it's likely out there and just but i'm looking for an easier pattern to see and then the 65 minute time frame price is pulling back and testing the breakout level of support at 59.39 that can be a bottom but right now price is still below all kinds of resistance areas or support levels too really 5964 I should say support out there in 5974 so I don't know if Walmart has really made the uh, turn even though it's trading into the buy zone but maybe keep watching that and watch those intraday charts out there so G man I hope that helped you out with regard to Walmart you also wanted to take a look at ticker symbol ITM so let's get over to that set of charts out here and see what it is doing and ITM is the uh, intermediate muni ETF out here so this forms a wave seven bottom does that back in the day of April 11th? That was confirmed with a little bit of a breakout back in April 12th. But we can see that all of these moves higher out here, G-Man, have run into that red oscillator and change line, including today, where it moved higher 
um, you know, actually started above that oscillator and changed on. It's back below it. And we're below any profile levels out there. So this has not proven itself on the daily time frame. It's certainly not proven itself as some kind of a breakout. Price ran into resistance, and resistance has held. On a weekly time frame chart, we are below its oscillator and change line. We're below profile support, so move lower could uh, uh, likely unfold there. Where is that move lower going to take us to? I'd have to say the 45-49 area. That is the center of its uh, buy zone on the monthly time frame frame and that ranges from 44.77 to 45.49 so that's what i see when i take a look at itm and thank you so much for those requests snowball wants to take a look at ticker symbol vwagy vwagy what the heck is this one vw a G Y, and it doesn't really matter to force. We're agnostic now. Each of you can take a look at my charts, and you can tell me what is it that I'm going to say to Snowball. Where is price set on a daily time frame? What is it that you see out there? What is price below? Price is below the bottom of its profile, 1526. So that gave us a profile change in trend signal. It also has a Rhodes momentum indicator top. It was not confirmed until we had this gap to the downside that formed on April the 10th out there. So where is price likely headed to? We'd have to say without any kind of a bottom signal, and we don't, just because we have a rally today doesn't mean it's a bottom. And it looks like to me that what uh, Waggy wants to do is get down to the 1473 level. This is Volkswagen that we're taking a look at. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, you've got support at 1484. So we know there is support between 1473 and 1484. The monthly time frame chart, price has support down at 1435. So that's really not in the picture as we speak right now, at least at this moment in time. So Volkswagen looks to Stevie like it wants to get down to that 1450, 1470 area out there, Snowball. Hope that helped you out with regard to Volkswagen. Let's take a look at ticker symbol W out here. This is for S&P inside the Tiger's Den, and that is Wayfair. And if we look at Wayfair, what do we know about it? So I ask you, just take a look at this chart here, because this, this is, you know, I, I, I do this. So the purpose of, of really, for me, the purpose of doing this show, well, it's to inform you about, obviously, my interpretation of the charts and what they're communicating to us. But I'd love you to be able to look at my charts and be able to see the exact same thing. Uh, that way we start to get some conviction. Or you get some conviction in being able to assess what a market is doing. When we take a look at Wayfair, what do we see out here? Well, one, we see an A to B equals CD pattern, right? That's the first thing that sticks out at us. So let's draw that in. It's more than a one-to-one, -one, but let's draw in the A to B point out there. And then we just simply copy this, and well, I won't copy it. I'll just move it over. So you can see well more than a one-to-one. -one. But we can see here on this move to the downside, and then you'll understand why Stevie says that these types of patterns, the buy the D point, the Rhodes momentum indicator top, why these need confirmation of a bullish or bearish reversal candle. Because in this case here, it went down one-to-one. -one. Would you have bought it right there in a wide ranging bar getting to the D point? The answer is no, in a big way. Larry would tell you, I guarantee he'd tell you, that's not how you form a D point with a wide ranging bar coming into it. So that was the first signal. But whether you knew that or not, you still have to wait for a bullish reversal candle. And instead, what do we get the next day? You got a gap to the downside. And that gap is still holding out here. Price is trying. Well, it's, it sort of closed it by price getting back into it yesterday, but it still was rejected. So one of the first things we can see, S&P, is if price could at least close about 56.23, and we're at 56.45 right now, that could get further rally up to the 50. 972 level out there and if you get a uh, bullish engulfing candle today which is a real possibility i could say i have the daily uh, current signal turned off but that could then be a buy the d point pattern that's really what i was getting at so on the daily time frame at day's end you could have a buy the d point pattern right now that is a bullish engulfing candle on the weekly time frame chart uh, you've got price that is back inside his profile. You'd love to see it close at week's end about 57.27. That would say a key level of support will have held. The monthly time frame's got a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom and uh, price run into resistance at the 89.65. So longer term, we know that Wayfair has significant resistance at 89.65 out there. So that's what I see when I take a look at the W out there. Hope that helped you out. Let's take a look at soybeans for Peter in Park City. We're going to take a look at the November beans out here. That's what's popping up on our screen. Here you'll see an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. Doesn't look like we got any kind of bullish reversal candle. And it says we still need to get a little bit lower to complete that pattern right around the 1146-ish area out there. Today is bar number eight of a TD9 count. So, Peter, you could get a TD9 count pattern that forms between today and uh, Monday out here. Um, so that's a possibility with regard to November soybeans. What you'd ideally like to see is price get down to that one-to-one -one price projection level, 
get to the TD9 count bottom as well as a bullish reversal candle to confirm a buy the D point or a Gartley buy point out here. The weekly chart for November soybeans, which has resistance up at that 1203.98 level, we saw that at the top of the profile, could be pulling back to its buy zone. And the buy zone for November beans between 1132 and 1140 out there. And nothing, don't have enough date out here. I'd have to go to a continuous contract, which I don't really want to trust when we're really analyzing what November beans are doing out there. I think we have enough information on the uh, daily and the weekly out there. So, Peter. Thank you for that request also. We got another request. I've got to just simply punch it in here. AQST. This is for Bob in Spokane. We're going to a break here in about uh, the music's going to start playing in about four seconds or so. So we may just simply come back to AQST for Bob in Spokane. And then Vic would like to take a look at Monster, I believe it is, MSTR. But real quickly here on the uh, AQST, Peter, or Bob in Spokane, what do you see? A TD9 count bottom that completed yesterday. And now price is running right up into that resistance zone of 438. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. and We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors.
Welcome back, folks. Look at an AQST for Bob and Spokane. Boy, on the monthly base, you got a big old sell the D-point pattern last month, big old shooting star out there. Uh, if we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, what you like about this is prices trading above its green oscillator and change line at 418. So you'd like to see, that's a bullish condition out there and suggests that price should rise. So you got that daily TD9 count bottom pattern and uh, it's trying to take out its resistance zone. So a close about 438 out there would suggest that we have a change in trend. Now, it's going to have some overhead resistance certainly at this gap to the downside so that next level would be at about the 470 area out there so i'd watch that on aqst so bob hope that helps you out uh, let's take a look at our next request this came in from vic who wants to take a look at mstr we take a look at mstr this is uh not sure what it is don't remember is that monster mstr doesn't matter what we see out here is we see a uh, we see that on a daily basis, uh, price is trading below profile and its green oscillator and change line. We don't see any kind of a bottom signal as we speak. Uh, maybe there's an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. If there is, it looks like this. For the most, uh, yeah, okay, so that, 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 that's going to work. And if I just simply move this over, because the following day was a little bit of a higher high, uh, you can see that suggests we get all the way down to the 934 level. Right now, you've got a TD9 count top on the on the uh, weekly, price below that oscillator and change line. That supports the idea of a further move lower out there. So i got to go with regard to MSTR at this moment in time. Looks like it wants to head lower out there. Now, if it closes above yesterday's high, you could at least see a couple-day rally out there. And to finish the show off, we're going to go take a look at for Jeff Lee. Lynn. That's a VLO, who's a great musician. We're going to take a look at you. So CRH. And we take a look at CRH. What do we see out here? We see a, a TD9 cal bottom that is likely to form between today and Monday out there. Uh, there I don't have to look at the uh, short-term charts because we're at the session lows. So there's no way we're going to have a confirmed bottom as we speak on those intraday time periods. Um, but the daily time frame suggests that we should see a bottom between today, which I say is not today, at least it's not as 11.56, and um, Monday. So I look for their uh, ELO as I look for those intraday charts to give you some type of confirming signal of a move lower. This will be day number five of consecutive moves lower out there. Folks, thanks so much for joining me today. I want you to have just simply the best, most terrific Thursday you possibly can because I'm going to look forward to seeing you on fantastic and fabulous Friday. Take care and be safe out there.